When Adolph Sachs invented the saxophone in 1842, he had no idea it would ever become such a great jazz instrument. What he had in mind was an instrument that down low, if you wanted it to, could sound like the cello. <laughs> Of course, the saxophone is made out of brass. It's a woodwind instrument because it has a reed. But since it's made out of brass, if you wanted to, it can sound like a brass instrument. Of course, it is a woodwind. Now, Adolf Sax had no idea that in the 19. 40s, the saxophone would ever do this. Or that in the 19, early 1950s, jazz styles would have changed, and the, then the saxophone would sound like this. Now, Mr. Sachs never imagined that John Coltrane would do anything like this. Mr. Sachs certainly never had in his ear rock and roll from the 50s. What Mr. Sachs had in mind was an instrument that would be a solo instrument with the orchestra, or a solo instrument with the wind ensemble or concert band. Here's just a little bit of the Concertino da Camera by Jacques Ibert for saxophone and 11 instruments. <laughs> saxophone than any other instrument. This is the king of instruments because it can do all of that. What I do with the saxophone is, well, I'm a classical saxophonist. I play classical music on the saxophone, just like that. And with that, if you'll step out into the lobby after the concert, we're handing out certificates because you've now sat through saxophone 101. Congratulations, Mazel Tov.